216,000 kina, uh, the intervention from the uh, Rosso Marape government is a big thing to us um, because as we have said already, our operations uh, in terms of crop is supported by our smallholders. And so getting better production from the smallholders uh, with high yielding is important to us. Uh, it's also good for the smallholders that uh, with better production they can um, get better earnings for their families uh, and, and better their lives. For us, uh, one of the biggest challenges for the growers is being uh, the cost involved in um, raising the seedlings uh, because you know it costs the company money to raise these seedlings uh, to the standard that we want. So, uh, and at the end of the day, these seedlings cost money. <coughs> this cost are also passed on to the growers, and so you know ordinary Papua New Guinean they find it difficult with uh, getting or paying for the seedlings as well as fertilizer that we talked about. And so such intervention from the government is a big thing and we can help as, as an organization or as a company, we can help um, the growers to improve a lot of our blocks, smallholder blocks um, are overaged, and so the yields are not very good from there. So we need these seedlings to replace these older palms. So it's, it's, it's a good thing and we are so excited about this, uh, this intervention because as this is the first time in this industry that the, this government, uh, Rosso Marape government, uh, is putting money into oil palm. And we uh, hope that this intervention program will continue every year. Every seedling that we raise in the, in the nursery uh, is basically how we calculate the seedling cost is the input of money involved in raising and managing these seedlings. So at the moment our current uh, price is around 22, 23 kina per seedling. Um, I, was, uh, I haven't seen the, the, from the 216,000, the OPIC, OPIC was telling, uh, the general secretary was telling me that they want to do a, a subsidy of about 16 kina, uh, 16 or 18 kina per seedling. Now, if you look at that in percentage over the 22 kina, that is significant. So that is a good thing for us, and we are all happy about that because we can be able to, with that money, we can be able to supply more seedlings to uh, do a lot of uh, replant program that is uh, well overdue already. Welcome to Millen Bay, to Millen Bay Estates and BPL Millen Bay Estates, and to Hagita Estate, Nessery. My name is um, Mr. Javier Tanupit, I'm the Senior Manager for the Eastern Group. But three other estates, and this is Hagita, one of the three estates and where the Nessery is located. Um, I've been with the industry for 20 or 24 years. My name is Albert Ripa, I'm the Estate Manager for Agita Estate, uh, which includes the nursery that we are standing. And uh, I've been with the industry for almost uh, 14 years now. The nursery is a very small nursery, 5.1 hectares in here. There are two parts of the oil palm seedling nursery we have here. The one that is right here this is called a pre-nursery. And the one where I'm pointing out this way there, that's a main nursery. The pre-nursery is, we receive the stage of it, we receive the seeds from Dami, Dami research at Kimbe, and fly them here, and uh, grow them here and they stay for three months. 
We look after them and grow them for three months. After the three months in the smaller pulley bag, then it's transferred to what is called a main nursery, stage two nursery, which is main nursery, and planted in a bigger size pulley bag, and look after and managed with fertilizer within all the other management aspects of that nursery, and stays for nine months. When it is nine months, then um, it's taken to the field, loaded and taken to the estates where to plant, in the replant or in the new planting, where at the moment no, and in our smallholder blocks. Right now we have about 15 workers who are permanent, who are working in the pre-nursery as well as the main nursery. And uh, for the time being, we have uh, back the uh, local work to fill the poly bags. We are engaging part-time uh, our seasonal people to come and fill in the bags just for, uh, to speed up with our nursery. The nursery is the start of the plant that's going to be standing in the field for 20 plus years. High quality management is applied in the nurseries to raise quality seedlings for quality production. Basically, that's the heartbeat of the production of later years for the later generation to come. In NBPL, and uh, we are proud to be uh, be part of NBPL, uh, Dami, uh, part of Dami, because Dami seeds are very high yielding seeds. We have our own research station that uh, breed our seeds to the quality that we want. Um, not only the number of characters they look at, but some of the um, ones that are more obvious are um, uh, early returns, meaning that uh, when you plant a seed or seedling, it takes a very short time for you to start harvesting. Okay, So the returns on um, your investment is, is good. Uh, also high yielding. So these are some of the qualities uh, that we, we look at. And Dami is the only supplier or recognized uh, supplier of seeds um, in NBPL and not only NBPL but all the other million companies that are in the country they also get their uh, seeds from Dami. Though one or two get it from outside but bulk is from, from Dami. Basically where we operate from, the economy of the province, um, you will see that oil palm is the backbone to the economy of the province. Now I know a lot of people think otherwise, but we inject like from here over a million to two million kina um, every fortnight into the, into the economy of the province. That is, that is a lot of money. Um, so not only through our growers, but through our em employees that we have. We recruit, we have just around 3,000 employees. Now, being, you know how Papua New Guinea operates. Um, that one pay packet, you have hundreds of uh, family members that benefit from it. Um, in Milin Bay, there is no other activities other, other than the small, uh, the shops that we have in, uh, in, in Alatau. Other than that, the biggest uh, investor in, in, in the province is, um, is Million Bay Estates. Uh, we not only um, support the province or economy of the province through um, the salary and wages that we pay our employees, we basically look after the highways as well for the western. And I'm talking about the Magi Highway from Alata town where we're starting from where we operate almost to the borders of uh, up towards central side. This is where our operational areas are. And so we, we basically maintain the highway to ensure that our trucks uh, flow without problems. So um, if you take Million Bay Estates out of um, Million Bay or Alatau, basically the economy of the province is going to collapse.